Uh, hey guys, welcome back. I know this episode's late, I know I said it upload on Wednesdays, however, I'm currently recording this on a Saturday. Reason being is I've had a lot of stuff going on, I couldn't get much recording done. Uh, that being said, there won't be a, a Pokemon or a Final Fantasy Tactics video next week. Um, no, I lied, there will be a Tactics video, it'll be the epilogue of the last fight. Um, I did it by myself to show that I could beat it. Pretty much without safe scumming. I only safe scum at one part because I was in a good position, so I saved it so I wouldn't have to redo the whole fight. But uh, other than that, there probably won't be any episodes up next week. This is going to be going up right after I record it. I'm not going to have time to edit it or anything. You're just going to get it raw. Um, so I do apologize for that. Also, I did a bit of grinding between this episode and last episode. Uh, we now have the Blood Crescent for Life Steal. Even though we won't be physically attacking that much. Not yet, anyway. Um, I haven't done anything with the skull cap. Actually, here. Let's go to my stash. <laughs> when I say I've done a bit of grinding, I've done a bit of grinding. Um, if you're wondering how far I've actually made it into the game, I still haven't made it past the cold planes. This is where we ended off the uh, last episode. I haven't gone any further, and I managed to grind all of this. See, when you know what you're doing with the cube recipes, you learn quite a bit of stuff. Like, I got the whole Angelic set. I got most of the Sander set. Um, I probably won't be using these. I just wanted to show you that you could get most of the stuff at this point. Um, Zuer's Wrath, I'm only going to be using for Magic Finding when I get to level 13. Um, what's my secondary weapon? Oh, Okay. This is my main attacking weapon if I need to heal. This is what I've used. Alright. Uh, as for armor, I wanted to show off something. Um, people were asking when I was running through with the uh, Paladin why I made myself Ethereal. Um, dark male, or dark glow ring male, non Ethereal, 98 defense. And requires 36 strength. Dark glow ring male, with it being Ethereal, can't be repaired. 218 defense, required strength of 26, and I only have to get to level 14. That is why. Um, if you're worried about the not being repaired part, um, normally when I do stuff like this, I make it socketed so I can put in a Zod rune to make it where it's indestructible. I can't do that yet, however, because I'm not high enough level to use a Zod rune in my armor. So when this breaks, um, I'll just make this one Ethereal. Um... I don't know why I made this. I think I made made this with a faster cast rate. Actually, oh, I can't use that yet. I think I made that for the faster cast rate for uh, teeth. And I got quite a few moonstones. But as you can see, all this stuff is attainable right as you start the game, if you know what you're doing. Um, I did this while I was bored uh, a few days ago. Um, I was planning on grinding a little bit before this episode. Um, I did all this on Tuesday, and then I was going to record on Wednesday, thinking, oh yeah, I still got plenty of time. I couldn't get around to it. Um, this time, we are actually going to... Oh, where is it? There it is. Thank you. Give me those. And give me those. Thank you. Um, teeth and a normal attack. Uh, like I said last time, I'm not going to be doing all the quests again. Um, this episode will probably get close to Endarial. I'm not going to run it till I kill her, because we're already four minutes in. Why wow, I rambled that much. Wow. But yeah, we're already four minutes in. I'm not going to worry about doing every single quest. Uh, however... We will be doing the majority of them. Am I down to one mage already? Can I hold three? Yeah, I get three skeleton mages. How am I down to one already? Okay. Oh, and I forgot. Slash players. Eight. Forgot to do that when we started up. Um... Alright, this is a stony field. 
Um, do 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 do. Like I said, I do apologize for this being late. Um, I'm gonna try getting these up on Wednesdays from now on. Um. Uh, do, 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 do. That identify scroll. Um, and I would like to point out in my one uh, cube tutorial, I noted that the fastest way to get, or no, my gem tutorial, I think it was, for my fragments, uh, I noted that the fastest way to get them was with the rings, and grinding rings over and over and over again, or re-rolling them to get the rare rings so you can start right off with tier 3. Um, I said that it might be faster to uh, just go get tier 1 stuff. That is faster. Um, it is actually very faster. Ooh, preserve 10. The only issue with that is, is that... Uh, Yeah, the only issue with that is, is that it's going to cost more money that way, because you're going to have to use more rings. And rings are a lot more expensive to gamble from Gide than it is buying uh, Town Portal Scrolls from Arya. So that's one issue. Whatever, best escape for. Um, another issue being that while it may be faster, it's not as efficient. Um... I'd even say rolling into the 40s or 50 level rings and getting the tier 2 would be more efficient than rolling whatever you get. Like, if you get a high roll on your first try, then by all means. But, personally, I like waiting around. This time I didn't, because I actually got in good with uh, Arya. And I actually have Max Gold in my stash. I don't know if you noticed when I had it open, but... Uh, actually, I may not have Max anymore, because I bought a lot of rings after my last gold grinding session. Um, and nothing there. So, yeah. And most of my stuff's dead already. I'm gonna have to start doing this a bit more. If I want my guys to keep living. Uh, do, do, do. I also have to get mana potions, I'll have to remember to do that when I'm in town. But, um... I completely lost track of my thought. I apologize for that, too. I know that I did that quite a bit in my last playthrough, where I'd get in a ramble and then completely forget what I was talking about. I have to work on that as well. I get distracted very easily, if you haven't noticed. Oh, God. Oh, that leads to level 2. That's not where I want to go. Yeah, that leads to level 2. Um, Kev Ian? Uh, actually, hang on. I'm gonna look at that. Uh, do 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 do. What was your name? Yeah, Kev Ian. Ian? Ian? Whatever. Um, as for your question on how to get perfect drop mod working with Pluggy, it is possible. Um, whatever host you're using the perfect drop mod from, um, I'll actually show that at the end of this episode, as to not ramble us on, but, uh, like, say you're using version 1.13, I think it was you said, uh, for, uh, yeah, for D2SE, um, Pluggy can work with it, I have got it to work with it, um, however... It doesn't do it for a single game like it would for Median or Valkyrie or any other mod out there. Um, and I'll show that off at the end of this episode so I can try explaining it to you better uh, without actually messing up my files because that would be bad. That would be a very bad. Um, but you would uh, essentially do it the exact same way that you would normally install this. Uh, but do it for the game file that you're using with Pluggy from. 
like install it to the same place you installed Pluggy to, and it will work for the Perfect Drop mod, but uh, it completely takes over every mod. Which is something I didn't really like, and I wish that they would fix with the Perfect Drop mod, like make an actual mod pack for it instead of just a patch, which is pretty much what this is. Uh, yeah. I'll explain it better at the end of the video when I'm actually looking at the files and I can show you what to do. Trying to do it all in my head isn't working. <laughs> I apologize. Of course, you guys probably aren't ashamed of hearing that there won't be any, uh, tactics or... Yeah, yeah. Tactics or Mystery Dungeon uh, next week. Because, to be fair, there might be a couple of you, the ones, the four or five of you that watch every episode I put out, that might enjoy it. Uh, well, I'm just champion. I'd say if that was a boss group, I'd fight it. But, uh,. Yeah, four or five of you that watch all my episodes might actually really enjoy it. Let's do the hole. I don't want to go to the hole. Okay, there's a waypoint. Marsh. Yeah, the next one's the outer cloister. So where be the highlands? Where be the road to the highlands? I do appreciate the four or five of you that watch every episode. I keep getting off track. I apologize. But I really do appreciate that those of you who do uh, check out every episode I put out. That actually means a lot, considering that some of my Diablo videos have thousands of views. Whereas I think my most exciting uh, tactics video has 10 or 12. Seriously, where's the road to the highlands? Is this game messing with me? I think this game might be messing with me. But you don't go through the hole to get to the highlands. What the hell? <laughs> I'm going to have to end this episode before even getting to the cathedral because I can't find my way to the highlands. This is seriously right over here. All I had to do was keep running down that wall. God damn it. Tome had it. Um, and if it wasn't for the views for Diablo, I wouldn't be doing this right now. Um, I'm not saying that because I want to make a lot of money. Um... <laughs> None of my videos currently are monetized. I do have a bank account now. I do set, plan on setting up PayPal and uh, eventually getting to where I could do that. But as of right now, none of my videos are monetized, and I don't plan on making them monetized anytime soon. Eventually they will be, but as for now, no. Of course, I level up just as I hit my potion. That totally happens. So it's not like I'm doing this just for money, because it's what gets views. Um, Fifty should be enough strength for now. Level man, fifteen. Cool, I can use some of this stuff now. Well, I can use all of it now. Other than the Sanders, because that's in the 20s. Alright, uh. Thank you. Oh, yeah, they also have this thing. Mm, not bad. I'll make you better later. Uh. I forgot. Uh. 
what all does this give for synergies? I have completely forgot. I know it's not as good as what I have using other things. Uh, attack rating, magic finding, full skill, 75 to life. Increased attack speed, enhanced damage, fire res, and 150 defense. That actually isn't that bad. Then of course, all the synergies for having the complete set down below. <laughs> that actually isn't that bad. I'm going to stick with this for now though. What do I get for just these two? 75 to life and attack rating? I'll keep those two in just because I needed those slots anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end this here because it's already at 15 minutes. Like I said, I apologize for this being late. Um, but I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, this is actually the end of the episode, but I'm going to extend this a little to show what uh, Kevian, 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 what I was talking about. I do apologize for putting your name. Alright, uh, let's see. Exit. Save and exit. Alright, um, display. Go to display capture, please. Thank you. All right. Now, what I mean by that is like right here. This is my uh, D2 uh, perfect drop mod file, and this right here will open up as my normal Diablo file. This is my base for uh, buggy. Now, I wish that the screen didn't go black when I backed out on my recording. Um, I believe, oh no, that's all that stuff, right, um, what you'd want to do is go to the, uh, where is it, file location, um, yep, see, this is where I have D2SC installed, um, what you'd want to do to get this to work with Pluggy is do the same thing that you would do for this and install the perfect drop mod right to all these files and then you'd have the perfect drop mod for a pluggy the only issue with that being let me open it up here real quick um is that like i'd have it for 1.8 1 1.9 1 you know, i'd have it for all this which honestly i have to get everything rid of everything before 112 um, is that every single one of these, including Median, would, uh, have the perfect drop mod. And for the vanilla files, that's completely fine. If you're just using Pluggy for vanilla files with the perfect drop mod, then by all means, that's perfectly fine. Um, however, if you were to do that and go to open Median, for example, it'd actually break the game. I have tried. Like, the skill trees would revert back to normal. But you could only activate, uh, no, the trust skill trees would look the same, but you could only activate the ones for the vanilla Diablo where those are located. Stuff like that, um, the maps won't be changed, the layout of the towns and stuff won't be changed. So you can use, uh, the perfect drop mod with Pluggy, it's just not the easiest thing in the world to do. And it will mess with any other mods that you have. But if you want to use it with your vanilla file, then by all means. It is completely possible. Um, if you find a way where you could use it and not have it work with mods, then that'd be great, because I could just transform my save file over to all this stuff, and I could use it with Pluggy and start collecting everything. But, yeah. Anyways, um, I hope that answered your question, and I will see you next time. Catch you guys then. Oh, no. That's not what I want to do.